I know the difference from the field to the high tunnel. It's more than double what we can get producing under a high tunnel. I mean, it might even be triple. I can put it to you like this. I think our production is probably anywhere from maybe 30 to 40 percent higher. I would say we're definitely getting up there in the 80 percent range of harvestable tomatoes. Almost three quarters of our insects are eliminated. It helps to keep everything else that would have just walked in there or flown in there out of there. I don't have to spend so much time looking for bugs. Uh, I don't have to spend so much time trying to figure out what to do with the bugs. Just the fact that I have some a barrier that's going to keep out in, some major insects, it's just going to be so much less time with having to deal with the insect pressure. To me, the netting saves so much time. I thought it was going to take a while, but a couple of hours, we had it up in just a matter of no time before we even blinked. I know that when we put it on there, our production level went up. It went up tremendous. The physical barrier is the only thing that I've seen that, that in a lot of cases can do you any good. It's a controlled environment, obviously. So we can control the water, we can control the insects, then we can control the temperature at some point. Um, we get a higher yield and a better quality. One more thing that you don't have to put on your list, but that program was super helpful. This project is what defined what extension does. It saves us the money of having to experiment, and he comes to us with good hard data exactly where to go, so when we put a dollar in, we automatically get a quick return on investment.